Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, the new girl invited me to her Halloween party. Okay, Halloween is officially next week. What are our official trick or treating plans? Sky, we're teenagers now. We can't just go trick or treating. But why not? Why not? Can you even imagine how much Ashley would tease us if we went trick or treating? Really, she teases us if the sky is blue. I don't really think it's gonna matter. Yeah, I guess you're right, but we are getting a little old. Well, if we don't go trick or treating, how are we gonna get our candy? Um, at the grocery store, like the other adults, it's the mature thing to do. But what are we supposed to do for Halloween next? I have two words for you. Brookhaven's haunted house. Okay, I guess that's three words. Wait, do you mean that super scary haunted maze that is pitch black and is known to make people pee themselves? Yep, that's the one. Nice try. Your mom is never gonna let us go to that. What is mom not gonna let you go to? Kente thinks we should go to the Brookhaven haunted going to the haunted house? I don't know, girls. That haunted house is pretty scary. I've had friends of mine pee themselves there. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes, super duper sure. Please, Mom. We're teenagers now, and teenagers are basically the scariest creatures on the planet. No argument there. See, meaning that we're definitely old enough for the haunted house. He does have a good point there, Mrs. McKenzie's mom, lady ma'am. Ugh, fine. I guess if you put it that way, maybe you are old enough to handle it now that you're in middle school and all. Yes! The next day... Okay, Scott. So I've totally torn apart the Haunted House's website. And I've pretty much found everything we need to check out. Slow down, girly. Isn't it still like a few days away? Are you kidding? We cannot afford to be behind on this. So we should be there right when the gates open. And then get right in line for the first scare. Uh, why is the new girl standing up in the teacher's spot? The new girl? Come on, Sky. She's got a name. That doesn't help me. Her name is Jess. Oh, okay, thanks. Ahem, <laughs> attention, everybody, attention. Unless you are giving the lesson today and I'm taking the pop quiz. Pop quiz? Ugh. Sorry, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. I was just inviting everyone to my annual Halloween party. Aw, oh, nice. I'd love to go, but I think the school has a rule against its teachers partying with the students. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Anyways, I'm gonna go sit down now. Hey, uh, you guys are gonna be able to come to the party, right? Huh? I'm sorry, what? My party. You're gonna be able to come, right? Oh, your party. That's what you were saying. Yeah, I thought you were saying something about smarties. <laughs> Silly us. So, can you come? Um, I'll ask my mom when I get home. I can't really do anything without asking my mom, you know? Yeah, me, me too. I'll ask Mackenzie's mom for permission also, because she's kind of my second mom. Oh, awesome. Will you guys let me know after you talk to your mom? Yeah, of course we will. Sky, don't worry. My mom won't make us go. I'll explain to her that we don't want to go, and then she'll just tell Jess's mom no. Perfect plan, girly. Blame it on your mom. I will. That's just what moms are for. Remember to thank her for me? Man, I don't know what we'd do if we didn't have your mom to take the fall for us. Well, for one, we'd have to go to the new girl's Halloween party. Moments later. Hey, mom, I'm home. How was school, honey? Besides the pop quiz, uh, it was fine. Okay, so guess what? Sky and I totally mapped out our plans for the Brookhaven's haunted house. It's gonna be the best night of the year. Oh, and the new girl invited us to our Halloween party. Oh, that is so nice of her. I'll make sure to pick up something for you to bring. No, no, Mom, I don't think you understand. What am I not understanding? You have to say no to get me out of going. I don't wanna go, Mom, just as weird. <gasps> Mackenzie Turner, I cannot believe you. You can't do that. Probably hard enough on her being the new girl, and she must be so lonely. She's counting on you to go to her party. Yeah, but that's just the thing. I don't want to. I don't care what you want. When someone invites you to 
their party, you have to go. Jess is new and obviously doesn't have a lot of friends. This is probably a big deal to her and doesn't the thought of her having a party and nobody showing up just absolutely break your heart? Not really. Fine, let me put this another way that I think will reach you. No party equals no haunted house. What? No, Mom, you can't do that. That is totally unfair. I have to go to the haunted house. That's fine. You can go to the party and then you can. You say you're old enough to go to the haunted house. Well, then you should be old enough to do the right thing and go to something simply for the sake of someone's feelings. Ugh, fine, I'll go, but I won't be happy about it. Hey, do you think I was happy all the times I had to play Barbie with you eight hours a day when you were little, but I pretended to to spare your feelings? Wait, you're saying you didn't like Barbie? Meanwhile... Mom, Dad, guess what? I have great news. Oh, what is it, Jess? Oh, I turned off the TV. People are coming to my party. That's fantastic. I'm not surprised, though. I knew it was only a matter of time before word of our Halloween party made it to Brookhaven. Our party last year was so scary. I think someone had to be hospitalized. And this year is going to be no exception. I say we make a pledge that this year is going to be the best year yet. We're pulling out all of the stops. I second that. These people at Brookhaven don't know what's about to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> the next day... threaten the haunted house, I couldn't risk it, guys. She's kind of right after all. How so? Well, Jess is new and doesn't have a lot of friends. We'll go in, make her feel good that we showed up, have some punch, maybe dance a little, and then get the heck out. I'll follow your lead in there. Sounds like you have a plan, girly. Yeah, I have a plan. Get in and get out and then go to our haunted house. Sing it, sister. I am right behind you. Mackenzie Sky, wow, I'm so happy that you guys can make it. Oh, of course. We'd never miss your Halloween party. Right, Sky? That's right. Mackenzie's mom almost didn't let us come, but we fought for it. No way we were missing it. Good. I promise you, this is going to be the best part of your lives. Hey, Mom, this is Mackenzie and Sky. Well, hello there. Are you guys excited for a great party? We sure are. Just as your parties are pretty legendary. St Girly, they don't have a lot of Halloween decorations around here. For people who think their party is the cat's meow, you think they splurge a little more on decorations. Shh, Sky, maybe decorations aren't their thing. You don't need decorations to have a good party. No, I get that, but they keep saying this is the best party of the century. I kind of expected decorations, you know? Stop thinking about decorations and let's go get something to drink. Meanwhile. Oh my God, Girly, don't look now, but what's up, losers? Hi, Ashley. Oh, look, you're dressed as a bully. You are so dumb, Mackenzie. We're not wearing costumes. Shut up, Ayla. Don't embarrass me like that. What are you guys even doing here? I thought you said you'd never come. Well, duh, we would never come for the party, but nothing's stopping us from coming by to judge the party and tell everyone at school how lame it is. Aw, as always, your actions are so pure, Ashley. Where's Jess anyways? I wanted to tell her that this is the worst party I've ever seen. Did someone say something about me? Yeah, I just wanted you how lame your party is. Uh, thanks, but this here isn't the party. Come on upstairs and we'll get the real party started. Wait, this isn't the party? Look around. There aren't any decorations. See, I told you, and everyone thinks I'm crazy. So then, where's the party? This way. Follow me. A few moments later. This is the party? What a ripoff. It's just a dumb room. Yeah, where are all the decorations? Just wait. They're gonna be here in a minute. Huh? Try. 
trust. So you think I'm the murderer? I don't know what to think. I'm totally freaking out. Oh, come on. Huh? Wait, what? How is that possible? Ah, yes, we win again. You guys should have seen your faces. Wait, so this was all a prank? Not just a prank. It's part of our murder mystery party. That should be illegal. You think this year is bad? Last year, someone got so worked up, they had to go to the hospital. Wow, Jess, I do owe you an apology. I didn't really want to come before, but this is certainly the scariest party I've ever been to. And my streak continues! Later that same evening. Hi, honey, how's the party? Good, but perhaps I'm not ready for the haunted house after all. <laughs> <laughs>